Hey McFly subscribers. So welcome to another Monday chat time with McFly here. I have a few things I want to discuss with you guys. So over the last couple weeks since I did my kind of controversial topic about how to handle fish, um, I've had a wide range of people commenting. Um, most of you guys are, are um, super level-headed, totally understand both sides um, and whatnot. I get a few people and, and you guys, uh, the ones that have been commenting kind of squirrely a little bit are not my subscribers. They're not you guys. Um, they're just random people that come on, find the video and just kind of, you know, decide to rant. And I've had a few comments on things and I just kind of wanted to talk about what my thoughts are on this and, and kind of where I go with that. So um, a few comments I've had about, you know, about it is they've seen other videos of mine where, um, you know, they've seen me in their eyes not handle the fish the way that they want me to handle it. They don't, they want me to be super, super careful about it and don't even touch them, leave them in the net, don't pick them up out of the water. And then they, they refer back to, to that video, the controversial subject about me saying, try to keep the fish healthy. Um, and I think a lot, a lot of people misunderstood what I meant by that. Um, I am 100% about keeping the fish healthy when possible. But again, I had discussed about the difference between conservation and preservation. And, um, and while it doesn't really fall into that category, kind of same kind of mindset, I feel, you know, yes, you want to keep the fish as healthy as possible. Um, but, you know, we don't need to stand on our heads and pat our stomach at the same time while trying to release the fish. I think we need to do it within reason. I mean, there is, there is a difference between releasing a fish healthy that, that lives another day and then super, super careful and just takes all the joy and enjoyment and makes it a stressful situation for people to try to release fish. Um, and I think, you know, that falls into, in my idea, kind of the same mindset of that preservation. You know, no humans allowed. If you're going to do it, you better do it this exact way. And I don't, I don't think that's right. I think we need to be as careful as we, as we can at that moment. Um, a lot of people commented on the fact that I dropped that one fish, that large trout, at those little um, lakes that I fished. Um, and yeah, I felt really bad about it. I did drop a fish and I dropped it and it did hit his head and I feel really bad about it. A lot of people came down on me for it and they, you know, how dare you, what is wrong with you, blah, 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 and, and some very choice words. Some, some of them were choice words. A lot of people were just like, oh man, you really should have gotten a bigger net. Um, you know, you, that fish probably died or something like that. Um, and those are fine. Those comments are fine. Um, but the people that are really angry, cussing me out, throwing a fit, just absolutely, you know, losing their, their cool about it. You know, that I find those, those people a little overboard, right? I get it. I get it. You know, it was probably, I should have brought a bigger net, but I really didn't expect a big fish like that. I really didn't. That was the net that I have. It was the only net I had at the time. And I mean, in my eyes, it was better to net it, try to net it and get the hook out as fast as possible and release it, then cut the line and let it have a, you know, a fly in its mouth, uh, which could be even worse. Um, so and I did what I could and unfortunately I did drop it and that was a mistake. Um, but we've all been there. We're human. We make mistakes and, and a lot of us do. And it's not, we're not all perfect. Um, I know I'm not you know, and, uh, and I don't expect anyone else to be. I've seen people on rivers handle fish probably improperly, you know, and I've, I personally, I'm not the type of person to go up to someone and, and flip out on, on them, you know, cuss them out or flip out or make them feel like, you know, terrible people for, for, you know, handling fish the wrong way. I mean, you know, if they're using a barbless hook and they're releasing the fish and maybe they're not handling it properly, they might just need a little, um, a little lesson on how to do it. But that doesn't come from, from me. That doesn't come from someone they don't know. It should be someone they do know that teaches them, um, rather than just a stranger just flipping out and saying, how dare you? You should never fish again. What's wrong with you? You know, I hope someone drops you 
or kills you or whatever. I've had a wide range of comments about that. Um, and then the other side is people, you know, really upset. Some people were really upset the fact that I even said anything about it. Like, how dare you, you know, Fisher, you know, you, you, you need to not stand on ceremony trying to release fish. And, you know, I, I honestly, um, I respect that opinion too. I respect both sides. But don't come down on other people. I think that's where I'm kind of coming from. It's not... I think it's a good idea to try to handle the fish as careful as you can in that moment. Some moments are different than others. So, a good example. I went up um, uh, this past week up to uh, a little lake, a little alpine lake, and I could not put a net in my bag. It just wouldn't fit. Um, it's heavy, it's bulky, it's large, and I just I wasn't going to bring a net. Um, but, you know, at that moment, I couldn't, I couldn't just net the fish, um, and s make them super healthy, but, you know, I, they were still released properly. They were released healthy. They ran off, they uh, swam off real quick. Um, they were all very healthy, the ones that I released. I did keep one, and again, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with people keeping fish as long as you're going to eat it and use it, and it's legal at the place that you're fishing, right? But um, that one I actually hooked really deep. He swallowed the hook, and, and he was bleeding when I pulled the hook out. It was kind of in his gill, and I knew he probably wasn't going to make it. So, hey, you know, it's legal to keep him there. Decide to eat it, and that's okay. But, um, you know, I did release the fish. I, I think I we caught six that day, and every time I went to pick it up, I wet my hands. Some people say it's not going to hurt the fish. Um, you can pick it up with dry hands and it won't hurt the fish. Other people say, oh, it's going to kill the fish if you do that. Um, I don't think either one is right. I think um, I think it possibly might not be the healthiest thing for the fish, but I don't think it's instantly going to kill the fish. I don't think every single fish you do that with is going to it's going to die. I'm no scientist, but let's just use reason here. You know, it's not going to kill the fish necessarily. Um, but, it, you know, if you have the ability to wet your hand first, wet it. And I did, and that's what I tried to do. And that's what most people should try to do. And I didn't have a net, but I feel I released them the best of my ability at that moment. Now, if I'm out on a river, I have a net with me, then a better way would be to try to net the fish. But it's okay either way. I mean, it really, it really is, guys. I mean, let's not stand on too much of a ceremony with it. Let's not go overboard about this. Let's let's try to be um, as open as possible, and some people might do a better job at releasing fish than others. But if people are releasing them, they're using a barbed hook, um, they're already way far ahead of really where a lot of people were many years ago, and honestly, I think they're at, at the point that, you know, that's that's they're doing at least the, you know, what they should do. Um, maybe they don't, you know, they hand them a little more rough or whatnot. Um, I've had people say things like, oh, don't squeeze the fish um, around the, you know, don't even touch them around the gut. You can't even lift them up with your hand there because it's going to it's gonna explode the heart of the trout. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, I mean, if I squeeze real hard, I think I could probably explode the heart of a trout, but I think I would do more. Uh, internal damage than just that and it would take a lot of pressure. I mean, let's let's not go a little overboard, right? So but my point is um, I think We should definitely do our best to handle fish properly um, All fish and again, I I say trout I talk about trout because generally trout are one of the more of the sport fish So one of the more delicate, you know, you can be a little more rough with uh, carp and bass and whatnot but I've had people come down on me the way I handled that carp Sure, I beached it, I get it, um, but there was nothing I could do. Really wasn't. That was the best I could do at that moment. And, and, but I still did my best to try to release it properly. I, I tried to keep it as healthy as possible. You know, and that's all we can ask of people. Do your best. And don't come down on people unless they're being obviously um, uh, irresponsible. They obviously know better. They know better to do that. Let's say someone brings in trout at a gold medal water, you know, blue ribbon type of, uh, you know, like a San Juan River type of thing where I fish, where it's barbless, can't keep the fish or whatnot, and they, they grab them and, you know, they're keeping them out of the water for five minutes while they're taking a hundred different pictures and, you know, and they're releasing the trout and all of them are dying. Yeah, those people you need to probably say something to. 
but let's not go crazy about someone lifting a fish up out of the water for 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever it may be, okay? Um, let's try to be a community of fishermen, okay? And help each other rather than come down on each other. I think that's the main thing, you know? That's why I do this channel. I want to help people as best as possible, the best of my ability. I'm not, I'm no professional. Um, I don't know everything about fishing. And heck, I don't even know everything about how to keep fish, you know, um, healthy. But I do use common sense and I understand how, what can hurt a fish and what can't. And um, I've been very lucky that I've never had a fish actually die that I've been releasing. Since we're on the subject of commenting, let's talk about that on my channel. I've had, uh, you know, guys, um, one thing that I'm big about is I don't want any cussing on my channel. I don't want it. I don't want the S word, the F word. Um, I just don't want it. And I and a lot of times I'm going to go through and I'm just, if I see that, sometimes I'll keep them up. Um, but generally, I'm just going to delete it. Okay? And it's not that, I mean, I've had a lot of people just cuss me out like crazy. It's just some terrible, terrible comments. You know, I hope you're mother f f and dies and stuff like that just terrible terrible stuff um you know it is what it is you become you know you put yourself out there on on place like youtube and you're bound to get people just acting crazy but if i see anything like that if i see any cuss words anything um over negative um it's not that it offends me when I delete it, and please don't think that. So if anyone uh, sees that I delete something that seems offensive, it's not that I'm some, excuse the term, but snowflake that can't handle criticism. It's that I don't want this on my channel. I do have a lot of younger people watching my channel. I've got older people watching my channel. I've got people that that could offend, and I don't want to offend them. Um, they're some of my favorite subscribers. They're some of my best subscribers, you know, but they, they don't want to watch that. And I think a lot of people don't want to see that. They don't want to see these comments. They'll go through, scroll the comment section and be like, whoa, that was too much. So I just, I delete it. And I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat, if there's cussing, especially in a dry, like a really bad manner, you know, um, especially super negative comments, um, I'm just going to delete it. Sorry guys, just what it is. And if that same person keeps on saying, keeps on doing it, um, a lot of times I'll send a private message and bro, you know, um, let's just cool the jets. Um, please no more of these uh, nasty comments, you know. If it continues, I usually just flag. Um, because I've asked. I've been, you know, kind enough to, to try to uh, stop it, right? But I welcome all types, so please don't feel that that means that if you disagree with me that you can't comment that. No, please, please, please comment on your dis... I, I like it when people disagree with me. I like to hear other people's opinions. I might disagree with you back, <laughs> but because um, again, we all have our own opinions, right? Um, I might disagree with you back, but I am never going to delete something or get mad or get upset over someone voicing their opinion, even if I think it's wrong. Um, especially if it's done in a respectful manner, like, hey, you know, I uh, I don't agree with what you're saying. Um, you know, this is how I do it. Um, you should probably try to look into this, you're, you know, this, you know, doing it this way or whatever, whatever it may be. That's a wonderful comment. I'm, I'm so welcome. I welcome that. Now I might say, well, I don't agree with you, you know, but that's okay. Right. And you cannot agree with me back. And that's, that's fine. When we're on comments, I really, if we could try to keep it, uh, you know, PG 13 or better, you know, on my comment section, no, you know, we just don't need, <laughs> we don't need people cussing like sailors on, on my channel, and that's just something I, I, I refuse to let happen. I work really hard. If I bring someone out, I've actually met people on the river that have said a few cuss words just here and there, and it's not like I have a problem with people talking like that. I'm not coming down or judging people, but I usually bleep it or take it out or try to edit it in a way that that's not in there because I don't want that on the channel. I want this to be something that, you know, a five-year-old just getting into, you know, or not five, that's probably over-exaggerating, but a 10-year-old just getting into fishing can watch the channel and go, oh, okay, I'm going to learn something, um, and not be offended or have their mom walk in right when someone's, you know, when they're looking at something where someone's just bleepity bleepity bleep and have them never be able to watch again. So let's just be respectful, right? Um, next thing is, uh, 
So since I went did, did a camping trip, um, now the weather is starting to be a little better. It's actually like 85 degrees here today. No snow anymore, so I'm able to go do some camping trips. Last one was a blast. I enjoyed it. Next one, I'm going to go to a little lake called Visito Lake. And uh, there's a lot of pike in there. So I've tied up a couple large streamers. And this is just one. I've got quite a few others, okay? Uh, larger size. And again, these aren't huge. I tied a few of these up, so we'll see how they work. Um, and in fact, I, I videoed one. So if it works, I'll put this video up. I'll put the, the video up if, I, if, if it seems like it's a good, f if it works. Um, I've already tested it in my, in my fish tank. I've tested it, um, you know, how it swims. And it swims awesome. So I can't imagine it's not going to work um, unless I just can't find the, the pipe. Um, but so that should uh, check that out guys I should have this video up on how to tie that fly specifically um, in fact this is exactly the fly I tied on that video um, but hopefully I catch pike that would be awesome so I'm camping overnight I'm going up in the campground there this is going to be a lot easier of a camp um, this is not a backpack trip I'm not backpacking away it's actually kind of car camping um, because you can pull right up it's a campsite uh, you pay for it. Um, it's got bathrooms there. Uh, it's going to be like luxury compared to um, what, I, what I'm used to kind of doing. Uh, but I did this on purpose because honestly, I just went to the doctor and, um, you know, he's, he's a little worried. I had to take an EKG. I've had some chest trouble and he says I need to take it easy until at least the results come back. So it's not going to be backpacking just yet. Um, hopefully it comes back good and I can hit the more kind of secluded places pretty far out. Uh, but this time it's just going to be right uh, car camping right on, on the lake. And um, there's bass, there's trout, there's salmon, and there's pike, and uh, crappie, and bluegill, and stuff like that. So I'm bringing a lot of different stuff. Um, I'm bringing my 6 and 8 weight. Uh, mainly for pike, it's probably going to be the 8 weight. Although that 6 weight does really good in casting larger flies, and I don't think I'd have too much trouble bringing one in on 6. I'm sure everyone's going to probably you know, yell at me for saying that, uh, but I might try it with a six, okay? Um, I, I know I can cast flies like this with my six weight. It's pretty stiff. And I don't think I'll have trouble bringing one in. Maybe I will, and I'll probably be eating my words if that happens, but, um, you know, I do have my eight weight with me, so um, I think that should be good enough. Anyway, uh, so that'll be really fun, guys. Check out that video. Actually, I think that might come out this week. As I said in my one of my previous videos, I had to take a, a, a break the past week, um, so I might have to skip a week for for my fishing video. So we got the flies, so this might pop up before even the the fishing trip video. Um, but that might come out this week. We'll see, and I might end up doing a two part series, maybe the first day and then the second day. We'll see. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Also, guys, um, I wanted to tell you. Uh, so the last video I talked about um, that I signed up for Amazon. Um, for the affiliate program. Again, I'm going to stress, guys, um, buy from your local fly shop if you have one close to you. Um, a couple of you had said, you know, your nearest one is a four-hour drive. I get that. Buy online at that point. You know, that's not, you know, but if you got one right down the street um, and they have all the materials that you want, um, I get it. It usually costs a little more money to buy from a fly shop, but try to do that first and foremost. But um, that being said, if you need to buy online, if you have to, if, if let's say you just don't have the money to spend at a fly shop, because usually it is a little pricier and sometimes you can find better deals online. I get it. I'm not coming down on anyone for either side of the fence on that. But um, if you do need to buy, um, you know, I have signed up for Amazon Prime or Amazon, not, I'm sorry, Amazon Affiliate, and it does help. And I'll be honest, uh, this last week has been nice. I've gotten a little extra money. I can't really say how much, but it's been a little extra and it's helped. So I've taken that money and I just want to tell you guys, I've taken that money and actually I always every month take a little bit from what I make with YouTube. Um, again, it's not much. It's not a lot of money, but it is enough to put aside and buy new materials for tying flies, hooks, whatever, um, to tr you know, so that way I'm not spending my own money for the channel. Um, but it, it helps a little bit. Um, but I put that money aside and um, I've been put, now I'm saving up for a new camera. So that's going to be in the next big thing. Um, I, it might take me a couple months um, because this is an expensive camera. And with the amount of money I make from the channel, 
Um, it'll take a while for me to get it. <laughs> um, but I am putting money aside right now to buy the A60, the Sony A6300. Actually, I'm filming on the 6000. This is my father's camera right now. And it's a great quality image. It makes wonderful video, but it's not 4K. And while I'm not going to be able to take this camera out fishing, um, but it will be for my fly tying. And if you guys have noticed in the last maybe month, uh, most of my fly tying videos have been a little better quality. Um, and that's because I'm filming with this camera that I've got on right now. It allows for a much higher quality image. Now take that and multiply the amount of pixels. Right, 1080 is 1080 pixels, I think, and a 4K is like 4100 or something. I don't know exactly. I'm not, you know. Um, but it, it definitely it multiplies. Uh, it multiplies it by four, I guess, right? Um, so you get a lot more pixels, a lot more, you know, it's going to be crisper, it's going to be a better quality image. So in the next uh, two or three months, uh, maybe four, we'll see. Um, that's what I'm going to save up for and get um, the ability to really film in 4K for you guys. So that'll be awesome. I think that'll be a really nice thing. Um, I've already saved up a little bit of money for it. Um, I'm putting every cent I get from YouTube and from uh, the Amazon um, affiliate thing into it. Still is going to take a while. Um, but, you know, it's it's over $1,000, that, that camera, uh, with the lenses that I would need. Um, so, there you go. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm working every single, as much as I can to improve the channel. Um, you know, I started off, I don't know if, if some of you that have been here since the beginning remember when I was filming my flies just on my, my iPhone, right? If you guys remember that, it was grainy, it wasn't good, and a lot of times I was filming at night because I was watching my kid in the day, and so it was super dark, and I was using, so right now I finally have more light, so I've got, you know, this light here, that's super bright, um, you know, I've got this light now, that's pretty bright, um, it's not as white as this one, um, kind of has a yellow tint to it, but I've got multiple lights now. Um, but before I was just literally, I wasn't even using lights. I was just kind of, I just didn't have it. Um, I was filming from my, my phone and just low quality video, which is fine. And you know, I mean, I was just starting and, and whatnot, but I, if you guys have noticed every single, you know, every few months, six months or so, I usually upgrade and try to get something better. So that's what's happening right now. Um, we're going to, where I'm increasing the quality of the video. Um, it's going to cost me a pretty penny, but um, it's something that I really wanted to do for a long time, and that's the camera I've been really wanting, and just I'm excited to be able to do 4K for you guys, so um, so stay tuned for that. You know, and after that, I'll continue trying to improve. Um, I've been looking at some 4K cameras, like action cameras, that I can take out and film while fishing, so you might get some 4K action. Um, might not be able to be full 4K every single moment of the video, but at least you get some clips of you know, whatnot, because um, I don't think I can afford two or three 4K cameras to take out. Uh, but Sony, I think, makes a, uh, like a GoPro type camera that is really good quality. I might get, you know, the GoPro 5, we'll see. I've been working at trying to save up just on better quality equipment um, to give you guys some better quality images, so uh, better quality video. So anyway, that's what's been going on. Um, again, like always, I really appreciate you guys watching, and those of you, um, there's so many of you, and I just I'm I'm overwhelmed by the uh, by the graciousness that that you guys have um, cast upon me here with with prayer and with um, um, thinking about my family and everything with all that has gone on, and um, you know things are getting better, and my my kid is starting to kind of understand and. I wouldn't say understand, but he's he's. It's a lot less of the crying and a lot less of, you know, the upsetness about about the dog. So um, I appreciate all, all of you just keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's just it's it's overwhelming, really. As as just a normal person, I just can't tell you how how amazing it is that so many people have been thinking about us, and and I I, I feel I feel like it's been helping so much. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I thank you all for watching and, and all of you that have already subscribed, um, can't thank you enough. Um, it's been a blessing to have all of you um, here, you know, and watching. Um, 
And for those of you who haven't subscribed, um, you know, please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, I make three, at least three videos a week. Lately, it's been four. But every Monday, I make a uh, um, what we're doing today, just a discussion video, talking about fishing, about the channel, just channel update type of thing. Um, and on Thursdays, which I'm gonna discuss, uh, I'm, I might be switching that to Wednesdays. Um, so. Let me let me know, guys, if that's going to work better for you. Right now, it's been Thursdays. All my videos come out at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, that's when I have it scheduled. But um, the fishing video has been Thursdays. But I notice, um, you know, I kind of get some view taper offs on Wednesday. And so, because it's been two days without video. So I wonder if I put it on Wednesday, and I have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? So... We'll discuss. You guys, let me know if that'll work for you. If Wednesday is better than Thursday, um, at least this next week, this coming week is going to be Thursday still. So right now it's Thursday at ten o'clock for fishing videos, and Friday at ten o'clock for fly tying videos. Right. Um, so Monday, Thursday, and Friday, all ten o'clock is when my videos come out. But again, that might change. So let me know if it'll be work better for you guys to have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday rather than Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Let me know. Let me know if that'll work. Um, in fact, I'll probably put up a little um, poll up at the top here um, to see. Uh, you guys just click. Um, it should come up. It might come up right now. I might be able to set that for the timing. It'll just, uh, let's see, what side? I think on this side. Might be this side. But just a little scroll that'll say, you know, do you? It'll, it'll ask, you know, what day of the week or something like that. And then you guys can just click and do a poll and let me know what you guys think. It's a really neat way to interact with you guys. It's kind of a new thing for YouTube, sort of. It's been out for a while, I've done it a few times. But you can do a poll, and so I'll do that. I'm gonna do that, you guys let me know, yay or nay, um, Thursday or, or maybe I'll just put Thursday or Wednesday, what is best for you, right? Um, and just click, you know, Thursday or Wednesday. It'll be really easy. So um, let me know about that, guys. Um, Again, like always, um, help me out. Please share the videos, all my videos, fishing, fly tying, and heck, I mean, even these Mondays. Um, share them when you can on your social media or whatever, um, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Help me out. Get the word out about the channel. And let's work together as a community and try to find the best deals online, try to uh, get the most amount of um, info about fishing and, and advice from people. And again, I'm no expert. Um, you know, there's people out there that have really good knowledge that might we might be able to bring onto the channel and and at least make comments and make this a community, guys. Make this all, you know like like a community for us all to work together and try to improve each one of our fishing um, abilities, right? Um, so that would be great. Please, please, uh, you know, share uh, with all your buddies and everything. Um, and plus, the more views I get in, the faster I can buy better camera equipment. Um, you know, and, and improve the channel more and more and get, you know, high quality 4K uh, fly tying and stuff like that, right? Um, so uh, please do that. Um, I really appreciate it, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Now, you go out and catch some fish.